Wow. So, uh, so in 84, like, what was Vegas like? Was it new? Was you new to the market? Was it different from coming okay. from the Midwest? Okay. Or like well, what? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna stop at, at Miami. When I first mm -hmm. got orders, mm -hmm. you know, that, that the Air Force wanted to transfer me mm -hmm. to Miami, Nellis Air Force Base. Okay. I was like, well, man, Vegas, 24 hour town. 24, I didn't yeah. really know nothing yeah. about Vegas at that time, other than, you know, Elvis and the Rat Pack and, yeah, yeah. you know, all <clears throat> the, really all wasn't the, no hip hop scene. Really right. wasn't no music. Well, scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was. And I'm gonna get to that. Okay. But, um, you know, that's all I knew just basically being on the outside looking mm -hmm. in, you know, mm -hmm. you always heard about that, obviously, you know, mm -hmm. the big shows mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, Elvis and, and, and the big, you know, the big strip shows yeah, and different yeah, things. Yeah. Frank Sinatra. That's what they was known for more. Yeah. Though. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. where the entertainment was, the live entertainment. Okay, but, okay. you know, who knew anything about the streets? But mm -hmm. I was like, well, I know they had 24 hour town mm -hmm. nightlife entertainment. They got to have some nightclubs. That's, yeah, that's all I, that's yeah, all I thought. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, yeah, I know I'm going to be good when I get out there. So mm -hmm. I just got to get out there, put my foot out there mm -hmm. and just kind of research it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to, um, what, what camera am I looking at right here? I guess y'all see it. I yeah, see it. Dance, dance music. music report. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna give y'all some some stories that's actually inside this this edition okay. of Dance Music Report. Mm -hmm. But this was our Bible mm. when with, with with regard to the music industry back then. Basically, mm. if you wanted to know anything national like hot records about or what's going all on? the trends, mm -hmm. you know the the streets, whatever was going on, mm -hmm. whether it was hip hop, you know whatever. Dance Music Report was our Bible, man. You wow. could pretty much was get it this. like a monthly publication. It was, it was a weekly. Weekly. Wow. You could get this thing, and you could pretty much get an idea of what's hot from retail. Mm -hmm. You know, retail, national radio. You got product reviews. Okay. You got uh, you know, articles, a lot of different things okay. like that. And every <clears throat> year, the year end edition, mm -hmm. they used to have a national directory of record pools, right? Okay, okay. And and the record pool that I was associated with in Miami, which was Southeastern Disco Association, CETA, okay. you know, we we actually had a space in there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, all our pools in Chicago, too. Mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. I can name a few. Um, what, National Disco Jocks Association, mm -hmm. Audio Talent, mm -hmm. uh, you know, IRS, which actually also had a record store mm -hmm. which was called Imports, et cetera. And that was okay. like one of the big record stores that, you know, all the DJs used to buy, you know, where you could just get all the all the trendy music. And mm -hmm. actually at the at, at one time, Frankie Knuckles was actually uh, you know, he was a product buyer for the store and he actually wrote worked in the store. Did he? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. So, you know, it, I think it was like every Tuesday or something like that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff that Frankie played in the club, say mm -hmm. like on Saturday, mm -hmm. everybody ran down there on Tuesday because most of the shipments came, you know, on Tuesday to the point to where people had to get it. They might only got say a maybe limited 10, supply. Li yeah, okay, like okay. 10, 10, 20 copies. And, okay. you know, Frankie would hold up this record. Uh -huh. He put it on. Uh -huh. And as soon as he put it on, man, them joints were sold out. Wow. Cause more was... and, and he had, he, you, they used to have a playlist. So okay. a lot of times when you went to the counter, you didn't necessarily know what was up, but you had good buyers that, mm -hmm. that, that knew the music. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times if you was asking for like a, a certain, you could have asked for a certain title, but then mm -hmm. they would turn around and say, well, Hey, if you like this, you might like this. Then, Hey, I, okay. I know you're going to check this out. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't necessarily have listening stations, but they did have turntables behind the counter. Okay. So okay. a lot of times, man, you, they, they might've had a reference copy. Mm -hmm. They put that on for you mm -hmm. like maybe you might have heard a little something in the streets at the mm -hmm. time the mix shows were popping okay you know okay. hot mix five folly jack master okay. funk okay jack uh, master, kenny yeah. jack jam okay. and jason okay. scott smoking seals and happy birthday to scott because his birthday was yesterday oh, okay my okay. man out of chicago out. Okay. one of the original hot mix okay. five okay you know definitely man so um that kind of thing. So that's how the buzz went. It was all grassroots, grass man. Grassroots, real grassroots. Grass yeah, yeah, so yeah. getting back to the whole directory thing, mm -hmm. you know, um, Vegas. I, I looked up Vegas because mm -hmm. I was getting ready to make the move to Vegas. And mm -hmm. I was like, well, let me see if Vegas got a record pool. You was doing your market research. I was, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, this was every day for me. Okay. Because okay. I was I was actually an active member of my record pool. I was remix consultant okay. for, for CETA. In mm -hmm. Miami. So every time we got records, I would actually, you know, pick five or ten records and mm -hmm. I would do product reviews. And a lot of times oh. those reviews would, would get placed in, in DMR. Okay. You know, okay. so I was early on it. Okay. I early, was early. I was real early, early on yeah, it. So yeah, okay. when I came out here, man, it mm -hmm. wasn't nothing but a slam dunk for slam, me okay. because okay. you know, it was just a lot of things that 
obviously I was already doing it. Mm -hmm. I seen that, you know, Vegas wasn't really up on. Mm -hmm. So basically all I did was share my wisdom with Vegas and, you know, the rest you was is ahead history, of the curve. Bro. Rest now, is now, with that being said, is that what led you to start Record Systems LV? Well, I really, I, I really didn't start it, but this is what I was saying. Mm -hmm. When I, when I looked in the directory, mm -hmm. Vegas had a record pool. Okay. It was Las Vegas Record Service. Sir, okay. okay, okay. Which at the time, George Luster, aka Hurt 'Em Bad. Oh, that was Hurt 'Em Bad. That was Hurt 'Em Bad. Wow. Okay, and. Also, Frankie, DJ Frankie was mm -hmm. associated, mm -hmm. you know, with, with George at the time. And eventually, mm -hmm. Frankie had broke off and started Las Vegas Record Systems. Okay. That's where Record Systems started. Oh, it started okay. with Frankie. Okay. 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 So somewhere down the line, maybe a couple of years, um, you know, after that, mm -hmm. you know, Frankie actually had, had sold the pool mm -hmm. to Phil Riccardi. Phil Riccardi had acquired the pool mm -hmm. and... Shortly thereafter, you know, which I had relationships with all of them at time, but because mm -hmm. of the fact that I had, you know, so many connections to, mm -hmm. you know, record service all across the country mm -hmm. from j factoring in leaving Miami. Okay. I still had my connects in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I still had my connects in New York. With all those pools. You know, yeah, only, yeah. only, only market or only region that I was lacking was on the West Coast mm -hmm. because here it is now I'm on the West Coast and there's certain independent projects that's coming out of the West Coast mm -hmm. that obviously took a while to, to get back to, you know, say the East Coast the or East what happened. Yeah, yeah, but because yeah. I was here and I was already, you know, into that whole network with, you know, getting the, getting the stuff early before pre-releases and, yeah, and basically yeah. being one of the test makers to, you know, pretty much break that stuff mm -hmm, and, and share mm -hmm, it with the, mm -hmm. the masses in the community. Mm -hmm. I was already up on that. So when I got out here, that was mm -hmm. my, my first thing. I'm like, okay, let me, let me see who's, who's the record pool out here. Mm -hmm. So and what are they doing? Tapping into George. Mm -hmm. Okay. Soon as I got here, man, I already had a phone number. Mm. So it's like, soon as I got here, I made a call. I was like, Hey man, you know, I introduced myself mm -hmm. and that's what it did. Mm -hmm. Basically my resumes were demo tapes and mm -hmm. business cards. Okay. So okay. I got around and just started, you know, pounding the pavement, just, mm -hmm. just plugging into everybody that was somebody. Just working right? it. Working right. It. So yeah. I hit George, you mm -hmm. know, Hit him with a demo, you mm -hmm. know. Hit him with a demo and a business that, card. That was the real mixtape. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. real mixtape. Yeah, yeah. Hit him yeah. with a demo and a mm -hmm. business card. Mm -hmm. You know, um, later on, the next next edition came out, mm -hmm. uh, and and actually, George's listing was actually the year prior. Okay. Because okay. I got here, I got here October eighty three. Okay. But the the listing with George that was actually in in the magazine was the 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 December eighty two edition. Okay. In December 83, um, Frankie, mm -hmm. Frankie's address was actually mm -hmm. in that edition. Now, the way that they used to release the edition, mm -hmm. the edition used to come out a month early. Okay. So figuring the de December issue would drop in November. Okay. I got here October 14th, 83. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I knew of Frankie because at the time, Frankie and, and his crew actually had the magic mix. Okay. They okay. were doing... KUNV 91.5. 91.5. Okay. Right. Okay. And at the time they were they were kind of floating back and forth between 88.1 and 91.5, you okay. know, with the mixes. Okay. And at the time, uh the hotel parties were kind of popping at the time. Was man. they then? Yeah. yeah. My, Michael Jackson lookalikes, you yeah, know, okay. the whole the thing. thing. Okay. Thriller, thriller was 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 on fire was at on the time. Fire. Right. So right. that was kind of the vibe, man. Okay. okay. You know, and okay. uh Scott Turner, man, um, wherever you are, Scott. Scott mm -hmm. was like, you know, our premier Michael Jackson was he, looking man? like, yeah. yeah, yeah, and he was he was one of the crew. Man. So he used to get out there and like all the all the Michael Jackson contests they used to have, man, at the mm -hmm. hotels, man, mm -hmm. like the Aladdin, the El Rancho, mm -hmm. um, Sahara Hotel, all the classic, you know, spots, all the, yeah. all the yeah. spots, man. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty much where it was, and then mm -hmm. eventually came That's Entertainment, which mm -hmm. was like I the, remember That's Entertainment. That I was, remember that. Yeah. That was the you know the premier spot for the high schoolers and. You mm -hmm. know, and, and and just the teenagers and all of that. Mm -hmm. But you know, most of most of that that game was basically coming from Sundays because mm -hmm. KUNV mm -hmm. ninety one point five. Mm -hmm. That was that was pretty much it, man. Where you got the culture on Sunday, mm -hmm. Urban Sunrise started at six in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you had. Dino, if you if y'all remember, remember Dino, Dino yeah, Esposito, Dino, yeah, yeah, okay. Dino was the host for the early show along mm -hmm. with my man Marcus Glasgow, okay. which eventually became my roommate. Mm -hmm. But 
Marcus also went on relocated to LA, man. He's a mm-hmm. he's a he's a big videographer, cameraman mm-hmm. for Hollywood, black mm-hmm. Hollywood right, right now. now the, yeah, yeah, he okay. he he went on to, to work for BT and mm-hmm. you know a lot of other networks, man. Shout out Marcus, mm-hmm. man. I know okay. he's out there. Okay. But uh Marcus and Dino used to host Urban Sunrise from mm-hmm. like six to I think it was twelve noon. Mm-hmm. You it started know, so six in the morning. That was Sunday morning, bro. God. KCP used to play, and they still play church. Mm-hmm. You know, gospel. And they was going with the so they, so they the only and 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 knowing that obviously eighty eight point one is and was mm-hmm. you know the primary urban heritage station yeah. at the time, mm-hmm. and and traditionally still to this day. To this day, shout out shout out to my alma mater, and I'm still there holding it down. Mm-hmm. Power eighty eight eighty eight yeah. point one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you know they 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 had the they had the gospel community mm-hmm. still have them on lock. On lock. And and yeah. that Sunday thing, I'm sure a lot of the sponsorships come from mm-hmm. you know the the gospel community. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. for the most part, they give that entire Sunday. To, to the them. church community, yeah, from yeah, from yeah. sun up to sundown, sundown all still day. to all this day, day. To, this day. Yeah, yeah. to this day. Faithfully, so yeah. back then yeah. they did that. So <clears throat> your only alternative mm-hmm. was ninety one point five. So when you turned it on ninety one point five on Sunday, it was mm-hmm. it was flaming. It was popping. Was ninety one point five kind of like like now? It's kind of like a college station or something. Well, it was a, it was college then. K U N V. Yeah, K U N V. Yeah, K. Okay, still K U N V. So it's been around that long. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.